So you said what video games have greatly exploited the idea of the metaverse in my yes. opinion? Yes. It was one of your questions. All right. So as far as video games, um, I personally, like, so like what I truly believe is mm -hmm. one of the things that I think is super important for people to understand about the metaverse and about the idea of it is that the metaverse and these worlds and realities are very far away okay so for so one of the um metaverse projects that's super hu huge is the other side metaverse right so the other side metaverse is related to the um board ape yacht club um it was associated with that whole deal mm -hmm. um, and that project I personally do not believe, and I said this before, is I think that Sandbox is really, like, the only, like, playable, usable metaverse. And although the other side, metaverse, and, like, all of the money and everything that, like, was went to that and everything that happened associated with Board Ape Yacht Club, other side metaverse, other side deeds, um... I think that they will not even be anywhere close to being done for like two years. So there's a lot of people that have invested in ApeCoin and that have done all this stuff. Okay, ApeCoin will probably make some gains. It'll probably make some money. The price will probably move up. However, the thing that I don't believe that anybody really, like the majority of people, the majority of retail investors don't understand is it's not gonna be ready. Like it's not gonna be ready. So like, why do you think it's not gonna be ready though? Because it's not even close. The thing is that <laughs> like, like you look at like like even Sandbox. Like Sandbox has been around for a relatively long time. Like mm -hmm. people have been able to play it. I think it's a couple years, something like that. But it took multiple years for it to get to that point. And they only let you play the game per season. So, like, you have to be, like, prepared, mm -hmm. ready, involved in the game, and then you have to be playing it or doing whatever on it during the seasons. Um, so, I, I mean, I still think, uh, like, so BitBoy Crypto, they're going to have a community um, land on Sandbox, and they, they've they said that they're going to develop it amazingly, and I support them. I really love that channel. I think that whatever they're going to produce is going to be amazing. However... Even they said that I think it's going to be like a year or two, like a year or so before they're even able to play their own land and they are developing it like they can't play their own land. And I mean, like nothing against it. Like I support everything they're doing. I think they're amazing. Mm -hmm. um, but I think people really underestimate and really don't understand how actually long that it takes to develop these things. I mean, oh, yes, because remember that the metaverse backbone is literally internet and we are in between web two and web three right now. Like web three is still developing until and I think all of the other platforms like metaverses and crypto and all the other blockchain technologies as they evolve together, they will come out with a product. But that's not going to happen overnight. We're it's going to take time. It's We're still early. early. Yeah. Yes. And like I, I, I've played a lot of video games. Uh, I, I definitely like certain video games. I'm gonna shout out some of my favorites. I'm gonna say, Need for Speed Most Wanted on PlayStation Two, amazing game. I'm gonna say Kingdom Hearts, amazing game. Like there are a lot of really amazing games. Destiny, um, God, I don't even know. I mean, RuneScape, good game. Um, literally, what am I thinking of? Call of Duty, amazing game, right? So they're like- I heard of that one, yes. Yeah, and so like a lot of the best games, like they take a really long time to make them. They take a really right. long time. Now, creators, like video game creators are considered now also metaverse creators because the metaverse as it, like if you think about it, that's what it is, a virtual world where like users can interact with others and that's what you do in a game and so the metaverse is going to be more like an extension of the real world 
into the virtual world at some point, but it's going to take time it's for it to be time. at the speed and to give you that experience. And so you can connect with it, like, you know, and, and feel mm -hmm. that, um, how do you say connection with it? Like real time experience. Some of the most amazing games that I think are fantastic, um, I would say Skyrim. So like Skyrim is fantastic and it's kind of like a medieval game. Like, so like the whole world that they have there is amazing, very medieval, all kinds of like fun stuff to do. It's like open world. Um, gosh, I'm trying to think. Do you get like certain coins that you earn? Like, do you get skins? Like, how does it work there? You definitely don't get skins. Um, you can like forage for like items. Mm -hmm. and, like, you can kill things and get certain items. So like mm -hmm. as far as metaverse and like NFT games go, I think that there's a lot of gaming people and they don't like the idea of NFTs. My brother is one of them. Like my brother, he's like NFTs, hell no, that sucks. But the way that I think about NFTs, it's like, when you play a game and you invest money in the game, okay? So, like, Fortnite, right? Fortnite mm -hmm. was one that I wanted to, like, talk about earlier. I couldn't remember. Oh, that's producing, Fortnite. like, so much money a year. Like, we're talking about billions of dollars. And, and the thing about Fortnite is, like, if you spend money on skin, if you buy different things, that company, they get all of the money. And so, like, the idea behind NFT gaming is that, like, so, like, if you're playing Skyrim and you're playing mm -hmm. Fortnite or you're playing Call of Duty, you can acquire, purchase, or buy these items from the other players. So, like, you buy a skin, a gun, or whatever it might be in the game, mm -hmm. and then you can resell that for like in-game currency or like another game's currency right or like you can trade that to somebody else so it's kind of like yes. you can buy a video game you can play the video game and then when you're done with the video game you can mm -hmm. then sell it to somebody else so like you bought it for sixty dollars right. maybe you can sell it for sixty dollars and so like the idea behind like nft metaverse this that and the other you buy something you own it you can mm -hmm. sell it to somebody else that wants it. And I think right. that's amazing. And so that takes me to the term D to A, which means direct to avatar. When you're in the metaverse, for example, it's like these games. You are obviously not you, but it's a representation of you in the virtual world. And then they have these retailers that sell you their products directly to your avatar inside the metaverse. And... um. I think this is interesting because we got, for example, this um, NFT and, okay, sorry, uh, John's brother. I know you don't like this, but hey, we got this Elvis thing coming and they announced it at the Cannes Film Festival last week that uh, he's coming into the many metaverses and there's going to be like um, NFT collection for him. And also Prada, we got Gucci, we got like, how many other things are they selling now on the metaverse? And they, exactly, they, they have like similar utilities as you will give them in the real world. And, and they're valuable for collectors, like, you know. So one of my favorite use cases for NFTs and something that is becoming more popular. So like Prada and Gucci and like um, Christian Dior and all of them, one of the things that they're trying to do is that mm -hmm. they're trying to create an nft like like basically a code or like data or like information so like the entire history of that product so like mm -hmm. if you get some like gucci if you get